Okay. Good afternoon. My name is uh, Robert Rankin. I am a British author of far-fetched fiction. In fact, the only author of far-fetched fiction. And, um, and this is my story. Uh, back in the 1950s, when I realised there was a little bit more to life than I was being told, um, I began to find books here and books there. And I first encountered a book which was called The Third Eye by Lobsang Rampa. This book was about Tibetan monks and the, according to the book they are able to open the third eye and thereby they can levitate, they can astrally project, they can read auras, they can do all manner of utterly wonderful things. And I'd been studying this kind of thing and knowing that I had to travel to Tibet and become a Lama. And from then I learned about the work of Alistair Crowley, the English magician, I learned about various other occult things and decided that my life had to be finding out what truth there was to any of this stuff. When the 1960s came along, we then had the rise of Marvel Comics, and then we had Doctor Strange. And Doctor Strange did all the things. He had travelled to the Tibetan Lama Sri, he had met the Lama, he had been trained in the mystical arts, he battled the evil Count Baron Mordo. And as you turned the pages between Doctor Strange and Marvel Comics, you came across this mysterious advert for the deadliest man on earth. Count Dante, master of the most fiendish martial arts that have ever existed, the man who'd been in life and death combat with the greatest martial artist in the world and kicked their asses. And so I thought, this is the man, this is the man. This man is not just, he's not just teaching you how to work out. This man knows the secrets of the Orient, the secrets of the martial arts. And so within moments I'd become a major Count Dante fan. And I have to say that uh, even though I never learned to astrally project as much as I hope to, I'm still a great fan and indeed a, a follower of Dimac. Oh, we change angles. Can you really some... explain what Lobsang Rampa had to do with any We're of this? We're not going to mention the fact that Lobsang Rampa was a fake, OK? Oh, I thought that <laughs> was He's probably as equally point. fake as Count Dan. Well, I thought was. that was the whole point. I thought <laughs> that that's what the, where good. you were getting I'm to. I'm not mentioning the fact that Lobsang oh, is, is, right. is bogus. I have to confess that I had imagined Count Dante to be much in the way of Doctor Strange or a, you know, Tibetan monk like Lobsang Rampa. It did slightly surprise me to discover that he was a ginger-headed Irishman. I may have taken a little icing off the cake. However, there is a problem with Lobsang Rampa in that most people believe Lobsang Rampa was, Rampa was a fake because he wasn't in fact a Tibetan monk at all. He was in fact a plumber from Plimpton who'd looked it all up in the British Museum. Now, he later explained that he had in fact fallen out of a tree and the spirit of a Tibetan monk had entered his body. Who are these people? That's my bloody son. Hold on a minute. <laughs> I have to say that it became a little bit of a surprise to discover that this man who was the master of the mystic arts, and they had to be mystic because this is a man who could do poison hand, this is a man who could touch you like the Vulcan death grip, and two days later you drop down dead. To find out that this man is a ginger-haired Irishman did, who's, in fact, whose beard is painted in with felt tip pen in those adverts. I have noticed that since. But to discover that there was this man, he wasn't quite what you thought he was to be. This then again put me back to the third eye because it was later on in the 60s that I discovered that Lobsang Rampa, the author of the third eye, was not in fact a llama. He was in fact a plumber from Plimpton in England. But that was explained because Lobsang said that he had fallen out of a tree as a plumber he had gone unconscious and the spirit of a llama had entered him. Now, I'm prepared to believe that. The same way I'm prepared to believe that although Count Dante may be a ginger-haired Irishman, Count Dante is really Count Dante mm -hmm. pretending to be a ginger-haired Irishman. So, um... I think that works. <laughs>